This uh, we saw in a previous match on stream against. Um, gosh, I forgot the, the name of the Diddy player. I'm so sorry. Uh, but Slingshot, thank you. Uh, very good with the uh, the reflector to really shut down his opponents. Uh, his neutral game. Yeah, I also saw Nexus versus uh, C Caleb earlier as well, which is a you know. This one of the biggest zoner mains, you know, me, uh, me gunner and Pac Man with all Pac Man, and so in a matchup like that, you obviously you're gonna be employing a lot of similar skills versus Wii Fit when it comes to shutting down Wii Fit's zone with Reflector, um, not giving in and letting Wii Fit get her combos going. It's pretty similar to Pac Man in that regard. Mm -hmm. okay, directional air dodge. John Numbers going so low. Next is able to capitalize on it with the down tilt. Yeah. He just barely gets clipped by the hula hoop. Oh. Next is not going to be able to find that stock and going to be finding an offstage situation of his own. Had her getting through the, Oof. the Phantasm in the down air to catch that Fire Falco. Yeah, Number says you're not till day. You're going to just do a normal <laughs> Falco recovery and I'm going to kill you for it, but gain the stock right back. Close stuff so far, but we haven't really seen like numbers get the super big extensions that we're known for with like deep breathing and stuff. So even though it's even, numbers still has tricks up the bag that they could bring out and totally swing this game around. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, the crouching from numbers right there, uh, being able to shut down both the laser part of uh, Falco's neutral as well as you know things like up tilt. Wow, and something so beneficial about Falco's combos being really long and the time it takes to execute them. Not even in the damage, but because time is passing, buffs like Deep Breathing will literally just go away by the time the combo's over. <sighs> Number's trying tech. to end it all. Ooh, just jumps into the Sun Salutation, but there we go. Uh, up Smash going to be catching that dash attack. Yeah, a bit of an uncharacteristic dash attack from Numbers. I feel like he would not be the type to overextend like that. There we go. Dash attack going to be able to punish that reflector. Surprisingly, I feel like I never see that move get punished. <laughs> Great angle by Nexus right there. Numbers, I think, always picks this song to start sets, at least very often. It's so, a good song. Yeah, it's a classic. Okay, Nexus fighting his way off of the ledge with the forward air. There we go. Finally, the back air. Putting John Numbers at even stocks. Yeah, and that's so crucial because when you're down a stock against Falco, this 44 really doesn't feel too bad because it could have been like a 70 or like an 80% off of one string. But that being said, still at ledge. Still hasn't gotten back to stage. Finally does. And finally at center stage. John Numbers hasn't really been able to get much going right now. Numbers knows how good the air dodge and drift is from Wii Fit, so often likes to just air dodge towards the blast zone because no character can really chase her like that unless you like super hard read it. Ooh, there we go. I think Nexus was looking to punish a re-grab situation, but instead found the sun in his face. And now this is where Numbers can get cooking. Falco trying to land, but is that going to be Ooh. it? Very convincingly off the top. No cooking shall be found. Classic up tilt back air gonna be netting Nexus. Game one against John Numbers. Yeah, Nexus right there playing that matchup like, not really like super like matchup specific, but just playing ant the anti zoner game the whole time and it works. You know, Numbers never really was able to totally like keep Nexus at bay, zoning Nexus out for any super long period of time. And Nexus mm -hmm. used that reflector a lot, used what Falco's tools have to stop zoners from getting that momentum. So we'll have to see, but we're hearing me, sorry, me sword fighter coming out. This is <laughs> certainly an interesting pick for the matchup. Uh, Cause I mean, we've seen so far, uh, <laughs> oh, Nexus no. has been so ready for this projectile-based gameplay. And I think what we, when we saw John Numbers versus Zamba earlier, you know, something that John Numbers was doing so well is using 
uh, those moves like the Chakram to extend his momentum. But Nexus has been ready for this projectile-based gameplay. So... But is he ready for the, the me sword fighter down tilt and fair? The number seems to use so well. Yeah, you know, I'll say it. I'm a believer. I'm a believer in the I'll numbers. <laughs> I, I think it um, it does have like a certain amount of unfamiliarity that like if you don't have a Wii Fit in your region that's one thing but I really doubt there's a Mii Sword Fighter in SoCal that's, right. that's uh, taking names. <laughs> oh, right now though John Numbers not taking any names. Nexus with the up smash, and he's taking John Numbers first stock. Yeah, like we were saying that down here is hardly a disjoint, so able to very easily just up smash that as Falco. But it does have a pretty good drag down, as we saw there. But, uh, you know, Falco having the great double jump that he has, not worried in the slightest, going to be getting another combo of his own. John Numbers now at 47%. Still needs to take uh, Nexus's first stock. Ooh, I feel like Numbers is trying to get it like a setup where the up B into the stage. Oh, what? That trip. Was that? Okay. Um, honestly, I feel like that trip was bad for Numbers because he couldn't get the last hit. Uh huh. So, rough stuff. Alright, I, I do appreciate the uh, the jump down airs from ledge by John Numbers, because uh, we've seen Nexus do such a good job at anti-airing, uh, so, you know, something to cover him like that, especially a long-lasting hitbox like down air. It's one of those moves that always lasts longer than you think it does. Did it just go? Yeah, that, that was a bit odd. I think the hitbox, like, comes out first, but then, like, the animation of it coming back, yeah. the hitbox is already gone. That being said, Believers are, are ecstatic right now <laughs> as uh, Numbers Me Swordfire making a pretty large comeback. Barely's been hit since taking uh, Nexus's first stop. The Me haters are sweating right yeah. now. <laughs> We've been saying John, John Numbers has not been able to use these neutral projectiles like he wants to, like Me Swordfighter wants to. Yeah, so I feel like to compensate, he's just been scrapping a bit more, honestly. You know? Oh. Oh! Okay, I think... That was <laughs> that was really interesting. I think Nexus was dead after that downer because uh, he didn't have his jump. But he got clipped by the rising part of the up B, was expecting to tech the rest of it, but fell out and died for it. Yeah, I, I mean... Right there, it's like it's so innate to like tech when you get hit by like a up B, and just I don't think anyone was really expecting to just fall out of that first hit like that. Yeah, definitely will mess up Ooh. someone's timing. Oh, oh. Yeah. look at that! Me haters are sweating right now. If you're a believer in the numbers game three, type one in the chat. Let's I, go. We can't see it, but uh, I'll just believe that. They're we, there. I believe as a believer that the chat is swarmed with ones. <laughs> And look at that. What a Beautiful. gimp. I mean, there's really very little Falco could do right there. Um, even with, like, trying to mix it up, you just fall. You plummet straight down. So if you don't have that Falco double jump, you just got that tiny up B, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, the spacey dilemma is, as always, having an exploitable recovery like that. So let's see right now if John Numbers can take that momentum that he got. <gasps> And he Let's is. go! <laughs> Let's go! I'm is. a believer. Wow, what a call out with that uh that like cape. Yeah, it's it's just a better Basically. cape, really. It's yeah. better. So great stuff. And Nexus, you know, that's gotta be so frustrating. You know, you get gimped your last stock of game two just to get gimped right away. And now 42%. Oh no, he doesn't have his jump! Oh, oh that's a stock trade. I'll take every day of the week. Yeah, numbers. Fierce off stage, really just knew exactly what was going to happen, knew that that was a guaranteed kill, and obviously, yes, the stock trade you will always take when you have a lead like that. It's got to be so frustrating for Nexus, you know? Oh, the Chakram catching the Fire Falco. If Numbers got another gimp right there, <laughs> that would have been quite the game three. And if you're Nexus right here, you, you need a combo. You need a combo, like, right away just to get your juices flowing. But, wow, missing that dare, that's just got to be, like, some nerves coming out. Yeah, no, and especially... Oh, you're super dead. You're very dead. Yep. Well, that was, uh... That was a streak of brilliant gimps, really, from Numbers. Yeah, no, we were talking about, uh, you know, John Numbers bringing back the momentum 
from uh, from game two, and boy did he! Uh, that was a less than a minute thirty, I think, uh, for game three. That was a yeah, very short dominant game three after the sort of even game uh, that uh, game two was. Yep. And believers, they're crying tears of joy right now. Let's go. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're calling their parents, telling them they love them, they're <laughs> rejoicing. But um, hands up in the air. Yeah. So um, New York able to defend its home turf with, I think, in the most New York fashion you can be, <laughs> some me sword fighter gimps. Great stuff from numbers, and now we're gonna see an, um, just two New York icons of Jen and Dill fighting pretty soon. Um, 